Of all the yacht builders I've covered on this YouTube channel, one of the most popular and requested has to be wider. This is a shipyard with real personality. They pioneered the use of diesel electric power on mid-ranged super yachts. Actually, wider prefer to call that serial hybrid technology. It's a technology that they built on and developed so that they could do away with the traditional engine room on a super yacht. And with all that extra space, they were able to come out with some really cool and innovative features on their yachts. Now, under new ownership, Wider have asked me to come here to film a series of videos reporting back to you on their new projects and the progress that they're making. So here is the Wider Report. To date, Wider have built a series of yachts, starting with the Wider 42, a 42-foot express cruiser that actually did become Wider at the touch of a button. They also built a 32-foot speedboat called the Wider 32. And that was designed to actually enter into the aft garage of their first real super yacht, the Wider 150, which became one of my first really successful walkthrough videos of a super yacht. Demonstrating their ability to customize their yachts, they went a little bit bigger after that, building the wider 165, which had a totally different layout and could accommodate a submarine inside it and also had a touch and go helipad on the foredeck. Now with the new ownership, they're coming out with new models. And the first one that we're going to look at in the wider report is the wider 135. When I first saw the images of this yacht, there were three things that stood out to me as possessing of the wider DNA. And it came as no surprise, in fact, to learn that the entire yacht, both inside and outside, is designed by Centro Stile Wider. Firstly, the overall styling of the yacht has that family feeling of the other two super yachts with the high vertical bow. Now, on the 150 and the 165, the foredeck is used as a seating area and the tenders and the toys are stored underneath. On the 135, it's conceived again to have seating and tables for guests, and then there'll be a few steps down to a flush deck for the main tender, which can be about five meters long, and there'll be space for jet skis too. Having that very high bow also allows for a full beam main deck master stateroom. In fact, you see those windows running down the side of the hull, underneath the pilot house and the seating area. Those actually correspond with the windows of the master stateroom and the master bathroom suite. I should also mention that like her larger siblings, the 135 master stateroom shall also feature that wonderful opening terrace. So. Apart from being what I imagine shall be one of the larger master staterooms for this class of yacht, it's also likely to be one of the most eye-catching. Now from one end of the yacht to the other, the second feature that makes this so unmistakably a wider is at the transom. If you've watched the videos that I've published about the wider 150 and the 165, you'll know that the entire aft section of those yachts open up to become a huge swim platform, surrounding an indoor swimming pool that doubles up as a tender garage that the wider 32 can quite literally drive inside for storage. This was an incredible and groundbreaking design that really put wider on the map as a super yacht builder. Now with the wider 135, there, there just isn't the head height to drive a wider 32 inside but just take a look at the clever design that they've come up with to offer something really special for their clients. Once again, the sides open up to literally widen the size of the yacht and reveal a three level terrace area that starts at main deck level where there's a comfortable seating area down to a pool deck with an infinity pool at the same level as those opening balconies this gives you plenty of space to sunbathe by the pool 
and then finally a little lower down still to that aft deck extension that also accommodates the mooring gear. It's a clever, simple and uncomplicated solution for yacht owners who can see themselves dropping anchor in a quiet bay and just enjoying being on the water with their family. I can see grandma and grandpa enjoying a quiet afternoon cocktail while their grandchildren splash about in the pool under the watchful care of a crew member and older members of the family use that extensive aft deck as a platform for their water sports. That is the dream. But to make dreams come true, there has to be a company with the technical expertise and the know-how to actually build the yacht. And that brings me to the third feature on this yacht that does in fact make it so distinct to the wider brand. That of course is that serial hybrid propulsion. To be clear, it's not just the propulsion that was serial hybrid with the wider 150 and 165, since the entire vessels ran on electricity generated from four generators when the vessels were at sea. And that was stored in a bank of lithium polymer batteries. Now obviously shore power could be used as well to achieve the same when the yacht was in port. Not only did that power the azimuthal pods that propel the yacht, but in fact, just about every system and appliance on board, whether that's a hairdryer that you plug in after you've taken a shower, or the winches that are used to tie the yacht to the dock. This is a very advanced and highly sophisticated system that WIDER have developed over many years. And in fact, they have a power management system called the WIDER Power Management System that allows this all to happen in a simple manner without the owner or the crew having to worry about whether they need to fire up another generator or recharge the batteries. Now, in the case of the WIDER 135, the company says that they're working on something that will be absolutely revolutionary. Something that will certainly be featured in future WIDER reports. WIDER have been very trusting in sharing this information with me so that I can share it with you. I've worked with yacht builders for many years now and I know that from the first drawings of a yacht to the final launch, things can change. Little tweaks are made here and there to improve the product and sometimes for practical reasons too. But the information I've just given you is a really good overview of what the WIDER 135 will be all about. The sales department of WIDER, of course, are very busy talking to all kinds of people who are interested in building the WIDER 135 for themselves. But in the meantime, they also have other projects to think of, such as the WIDER 180, which is about to make its way from the drawing board to the factory floor. This is a hugely exciting event for WIDER and for the yachting industry. And in fact, by the time the next WIDER report is due, work will have started on that project. And I'll be here to tell you all about it.